Okay. Let's see if this is working. Hmm. How do I see if people are there? Oh, there we go. Hi, Jules. Can someone just let me know if they can hear me and see me? Okay, great. Awesome. I'll just give it a couple more moments for some other people to join on hello hello okay i can see now great hello everyone thank you so much for joining me hi brooke hello okay i mean i think i have a little delay so just bear with me um so i might just begin um by introducing myself for those of you who don't know uh, my name is courtney and i'm from bend by courtney um before we popped into lockdown I was teaching yoga um, in Wilton and also out at Camden at Tamika Heskin and Brow Co so just on Broughton Street there um, but like many others I have come online now due to the lockdowns um, so I have been practicing yoga for probably about eight years now and I've been teaching for a couple of those years um, I started yoga because hi Amanda hello hi um, I started yoga because I was about eight years ago, I was um, in a super stressful, I had a super stressful job. Um, so I found myself always being really highly strong. I was super anxious. Um, I was starting to have panic attacks and I thought I really need to get this under control. Um, so I started yoga um, and that led me to meditation as well. Hi, Laura. Um, and the rest is history. So basically, um, I think it's a really good time right now for everybody to really become a little bit more mindful, especially if you are in lockdown. Um, I've been speaking to so many people and everybody seems to kind of be getting into this little funk where we're all kind of in our, in our own heads. We're going down that rabbit hole of negative thinking. And I think it's just a really good time to kind of pop ourselves out of our thoughts and um, jump into some yoga, get into some meditation, some breathing techniques, and kind of just become a little bit more mindful. Um, so what I'll do is I will, in a couple of moments, I will run you guys all through a gentle vinyasa flow. Now, I love teaching um, vinyasa flows. Um, it will be for all levels. So it doesn't matter if you are a brand new yogi or if you are a seasoned yogi, um, I will provide you guys with variations. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to run you through, I'll jump back onto my mat in a moment, but I'd like to always start my classes with some rhythmic breathing. Um, now I want to run you guys through a, a breathing technique called box breathing or square breathing. Now it's super easy. Um, basically, sorry, I just changed that. Basically, um, box breathing is a really incredible way to instantly calm the nervous system, to release anxiety. Um, it just has a whole range of benefits. So all we do, it's very simple, is we inhale to the count of four. We then hold our breath to the count of four. We exhale again to the count of four, and then we hold our breath to the count of four. So that's why it's called box breathing. Um, but what I want you guys to do in a moment before we start our class is to pop your hands on your belly so that when you're taking your inhale, ensure that your belly is expanding as it fills up with air. And then as you are exhaling, it's retracting. So it's coming back in. So a lot of people, um, they don't actually breathe correctly. So as they take a big breath in, they kind of suck their bellies in. But we really want to be conscious of this and make sure that when we're inhaling, we are expanding the belly and then retracting it when we take our exhale. Um, so yeah, I think we can get started. What I'll do is I'll pop my phone 
near my mat and kind of follow along. So if anybody has any questions at any point in time, please, um, there we go, please just jo like write them down here and I will do my best to get to them. Um, saves me from jumping up and looking at the computer constantly. So, okay, let's begin. So you guys jump on your mat. Let's make sure you can see me. Oh, I need to go a bit further back. Okay, good. Let me know if at any time you can't hear or see me. All right, so we're going to start in a seated position. So you can have your um, legs crossed or if you feel more comfortable, you can pop your legs out in front of you. And we're just going to go into our breathing technique. So what I want you to do is place one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. So this just helps you become aware of your breathing, aware and just consciously start to breathe. So let's close off the eyes. Good. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Good. Now you can just return your breath to a normal pace. Now, some people, it just depends on what's happening in your life. But a lot of people, it may take more than three rounds of box breathing um, to really start to feel calm and to be brought into the present moment. And that's totally fine. So you can kind of figure out what you need for yourself. Um, but I thought today we'll just start with three rounds and then later on you can kind of explore this rhythmic breathing technique on your own. Good. So take one more deep breath in and a long release. Beautiful. All right, let's come over into a wide leg child's pose. So what we do here is we pop our knees to either side of the mat, our feet together at the back, and then let's lengthen the upper body out and relax all the way down, popping your forehead onto the mat. And again, this just gives you time to focus back on your breath. So in each position in yoga, you guys stay down in a child's pose. Um, I like to think of having an anchor. So in this particular position, our hips are our anchor. So we keep our hips square and grounded. We move the upper body away from the hips. And essentially what we're doing here is creating some space within the body, which then helps us to create some space within the mind. So just stay in a child's pose for a little longer. Let's check that you guys can all still hear me. Yep. Good, good, good. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Now, when you're ready, I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose. And on your exhale, we're going to shift the hands. So we're going to bring them off to the left of the mat. And we're going to soften over that left knee. Okay, so we're still in a child's pose. We still have our hips anchored but our hands are now to the side of the mat and we're just feeling a gentle stretch down that right side. Good, and come back to center. Take another deep breath in through the nose and on your exhale, shift the hands to the right of the mat and this time let's soften over that right knee. Again, we're creating some space in the upper body, lengthening through the left side of the torso. And let's come back to center. Beautiful. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna come up into a four point kneeling position. So we have our 
our um, knees and our hands hip width apart. And we're going to run through four rounds of cat cow just to really uh, warm up the back, warm up the spine. So we connect the breath with each position. We take a deep breath in through the nose as we arch the back, lift the chin to the ceiling. And then we release the breath as we round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Keep going. Inhale. And release. Good. And inhale, really arch the back. And then release the breath, round the back, chin to the chest. One more time here. Inhale. And release. Beautiful. Come back to a four-point kneeling position. Okay, we're going to take a thread the needle on either side. So let's begin by raising the right arm to the ceiling. We then thread it under the left armpit. And we have a couple of variations. So we pop our right temple to the mat. Our left arm can come up and reach the top of the mat if you choose. And we just hold it here. If you'd like to go a little bit further, you can raise that left arm to the ceiling. Okay? and we hold it. Now, if you again would like to take one more variation, let's bend that arm and we just place it to the right side of the stomach. You can even be touching that right thigh. So just a gentle bind. So just choose which feels right for you at the moment. And hold. Again, our knees and our hips are anchored here. Beautiful. And let's release and come back into our four-point kneeling position. Good. And let's go ahead and thread the needle on the other side. So the left arm raises to the ceiling. We tuck it underneath that right armpit, left temple to the mat, and we either take that right arm to the top of the mat, variation one. Variation two, we lift it to the ceiling. Or variation three. We gently bind it down that left side of the body. So you just choose which one feels right for you. Let's hold for two more breaths. Be conscious here of keeping the feet both flat. Sometimes we have a tendency to want to lift one foot up, but let's try and keep them both flat. Beautiful. And let's release back into a four point kneeling position. So just starting to warm up the body now, putting our body in different positions, stuff that we wouldn't normally do is extremely good for it. All right, we're going to take a camel position. So we have two options. We can come into a wide leg position sitting on our heels or we can come up. Okay, so you choose whichever one works for you. But what we're going to do is reach our arms around and we're going to touch our heels, arching the back, opening the chest. So we can either be up here or if it suits you better, we can simply keep seated like this, pop the hands behind you and puff the chest out. Okay, so really again, getting into the back, opening up across the front of the chest. Hold it here. And release, awesome. Come back into a four point kneeling. All right, so when you're ready, let's begin. We're gonna start by tucking the toes. We'll lift the hips to the ceiling and we'll find our very first downward facing dog. Okay, so the first down dog of the sequence, you may be feeling super tight, really need to lengthen those hamstrings, get into the calf muscles. So don't be too hard on yourself at the beginning. Just find this position, notice how it feels. Good. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let's bend the knees, look towards the top of the mat, jump or step to the top. Take a deep breath in as you sweep the hands to the ceiling and bring hands to heart. Good. I don't know if you guys can see me there. I don't know if I'm cut off a little bit. So just keep hands to heart and I'll just check this. Good. Okay, you got me. Good. All right. When you're ready, let's pop a gentle bend in the knees. Place the hands behind the back, clasp them together, open the chest, and then slowly fold down into your full fold. So keeping the knees bent here. 
Good. Release the hands down towards the top of that. So we're kind of just hanging out here. Our knees are bent so our legs aren't cocking too much yet. Good. Hold it here. When you're ready, release the hands. Bring them to the mat. Now, if you want, you can straighten your legs if that feels good. But if not, let's just hang out in the full fold. Feet planted, knees bent. Good. Really feeling into the back of the calf muscles and the hamstrings now. Take a deep breath in. Let's lift halfway up. An option here is to bring your hands to your legs. And the idea is to have a nice long spine. And exhale, come back down into a full fold. Good. Find a plank position. So you can jump or you can step, whatever works for you. And hold it here. Good. Shift the body weight forward. Let's come down through Chaturanga and sweep into upward facing dog. Brilliant. So upward facing dog, make sure you have your thighs off the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And on your exhale, transition into downward facing dog. Good. Hold it here. Starting to drive the heels towards the mat, really getting into the calf muscles. Good. When you're ready, right leg comes up into a three-legged dog and we hold. Good. Sweep that leg through the hands and let's come up into warrior one, nice and strong. Hold it here. So warrior one, we have our left foot planted firmly on the ground. It's in a 45 degree angle. Our right knee is tracking over our right toe and we are hugging the ears with our inner arms. Nice and strong. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, open up the chest warrior two. Let's gaze over that right shoulder. Now, what I want you to do is just gaze down, check out that right knee, make sure it's not folding in. It needs to be tracking over that right toe. And in order to do that, you may need to pop a little pelvic tilt on. So we really want to look at our alignment here. Good. When you're ready, let's shift that right shoulder forward, flip the palms, reverse the warrior. So gently resting that left hand on the left leg. And let's windmill the arms around, come into our triangle pose. So our right arm is just hovering on the ground there. Let's gaze up at the ceiling. Beautiful. And when you're ready, let's extend that left arm to the top of the mat. Come on down into a low crescent lunge. So our left knee is now on the mat. Our right knee is tracking over our right toes. Take a deep breath in, sweep the hands up to the ceiling. Fingertips spread evenly. Let's hold it here. Starting to feel into the left side now, really getting into that left groin muscle down the front of that left thigh. Beautiful, bring hands to the mat. Take your right hand, we're gonna place it to the left side of the right foot. So right hand to the left side of the right foot. Once that hand is firmly planted on the mat, let's lift that left arm to the ceiling, opening up the chest, really getting into the hips. Let's hold for two more breaths. And release, awesome work. Bring both hands to the mat. Go ahead and straighten that right leg. So we are now getting deep into the hamstring. So what you want to do here is we don't want to be round in the back to try and get lower. If you have blocks, please use them. You can prop yourself up. But basically, we want to be tilting from the hips. Okay, so we stand up like this. Keeping our back straight, just tilt from the hips until you can feel that pull in the hamstring. And that's where you hold. Good. Keep holding, lengthening the muscles. With every exhale, just sink in that little bit deeper. It's really important to get into the hamstrings because they cause 
So any problems when they are tight, especially lower back problems. Good. And when you're ready, sweep back into a low crescent lunge. Inhale as we sweep the hands up. Exhale as we bring hands to the mat. And when you're ready, let's lift that right foot up off the mat and transition into a downward facing dog. Hold it here. Awesome. Now, just take a second to notice how that right leg feels in comparison to the left. We're starting to lengthen the muscles, starting to strengthen them. So throughout this whole practice, I want you guys to really notice how your body feels. Listen to what it's saying. Good. All right. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up into a three-legged dog. And we pause here. On an exhale, you'll sweep through the hands. Come up into a warrior one, nice and strong. So the same as we did on the other side. Our right foot is planted firm at a 45 degree angle. We're pushing into the left knee over the left toes. And our ears are being squeezed together by the inner arms. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, open up the chest into warrior two, gazing over that left shoulder. Again, just glance down, make sure that knee's not folding in and just pop a little pelvic tilt on. That'll really help with the alignment. Good. Shift that left arm forward, flip the palms and then reverse the warrior. So gently place that right hand on the right leg, left arm sweeps up and over. And let's windmill around, coming to our half triangle. Gazing up at the ceiling if you can, if that feels good for you. Good. When you're ready, let's bring that right arm to the top of the mat and then fold down into a low crescent lunge on the other side. So right knee is now touching the mat. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in as we sweep the hands up. Fingertips spread evenly. And release back down. Now we take our left hand to the right side of the left foot. So left hand to the right side of the left foot. And then release that right arm up to the ceiling. Chest open. Really getting into the hips here. And let's hold. Beautiful. Release. Hands to either side of that left foot and then go ahead and straighten that left leg. So now really lengthening the hamstring on the left side. Getting into the calf, into the hips, into the ankles. Really, really lengthening. Let's hold it for three more breaths. Awesome. And let's release back into a low crescent lunge. Sweep the hands up on an inhale and bring them down on an exhale. Gently shift that left foot up and let's meet back at a downward facing dog. So this is our third downward facing dog of the sequence. So starting to feel a bit warmer, starting to get the blood flowing a little bit more. Notice how it feels. Good. All right. When we're ready, let's sweep that right leg back up to the ceiling. And this time we're going to bend it, bring it through to pigeon. So that right knee's bent, the left one is straight. And what we're doing here is really getting in to that right glute. Again, if you suffer with lower back problems, having super tight hamstrings and super tight glutes really makes it a lot worse. All right, we've got three variations. We can sit up nice and, uh, nice and tall here. Or if you feel a little bit better, let's bring the forearms to the mat and we hold it here. You'll feel that getting a bit deeper into that right glute. And if you'd like to go a little bit further again, 
feel free to bring the whole body over that right knee and just soften over that right knee. Hold it here. Now, each time we find a stretch or a position that we're holding, it's a really good time to focus back in on the breathing. So really taking deep inhales through the nose and long exhales through the mouth and just come back to the practice. Because a lot of the time as we flow through uh, different exercises and positions, we kind of lose track of the breath. Sometimes we hold the breath. So we really want to be mindful of our breathing. Connect every single asana to each breath we take. Beautiful. All right, let's come on back up. We pop all the weight in our hands, tuck that left toe, and then transition back into downward facing dog. Nice. Stretch on that right side. Again, noticing how it feels. Driving the heels to the mat. The shoulders are starting to warm up. And let's go ahead and lift that left leg up into a three-legged dog. Bend the knee and then sweep it through. Pigeon on the other side. So this time getting into that left glute. Now choose your variation. You can be sitting up nice and tall with your chest open. You can come down, pop your forearms to the mat. Or if you prefer to go a little bit deeper, you can lay the whole body over that left leg and just soften. Focusing back on the breath. We'll hold for three more breaths. Beautiful. And let's pop both hands to the mat. Gently lift up that left leg and transition to downward facing dog. Good. And let's run through our vinyasa together. So we bend the knees, look towards the top of the mat. You can jump or step to the top of the mat. Sweep the hands up on an inhale. And on an exhale, bring hands to heart and swan dive down into a full fold, releasing the breath. Pause here. Again, if you can't make it all the way down to the ground, feel free to have the knees bent. That's completely fine. Take a deep breath in through the nose as we come halfway up, elongate the spine. And then release the breath again, come back down full fold. Jump or step into a plank position, spreading the shoulders here. Fingers spread evenly across the mat. Shift the body weight forward to run through Chaturanga. Sweep into upward facing dog. Thighs off the mat here. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, transition into downward facing dog. Good. Really starting to feel warmer now. Hold it here. Good. Bend the knees. Look towards the top of the mat. Jump or step. Take a deep breath in. Sweep the hands up. On your exhale, bring hands to heart. Good, bend the knees slightly, hands clasped behind the back, open up the chest, and then gently fold down into a full fold. Knees bent, lower the arms to the top of the mat, and just hang out for a second. Good, release the hands, come into a full fold. Inhale, half up one more time. Release the breath, come back down. Jump or step into a plank. Sweep through Chaturanga into Upward Facing Dog. And transition Downward Facing Dog on your exhale. Good, hold it here. All right, let's start with the right leg. We're going to sweep it up and it comes through. We're going into a high crescent lunge this time. So very similar to warrior one, except our left foot, we're now up on the ball of our foot. So warrior one, we have it planted. We now have it up on the ball. We're still pushing through right knee over right toes, arms sweeping up, hold. Now this one might get a little tricky considering you're just watching me through a camera lens, but we're gonna take a deep breath in. On an exhale, our left arm is gonna drop forward, our right arm is gonna drop back. 
So we're going into this twist. Now you want to go the opposite way. So you want to feel a little bit awkward, a bit unco in this one. Hold. Now you can either remain holding here or if you like a challenge, drop that right arm down, sweep the left one up and over. Breathe into the wobbles. I'm wobbling like crazy. Awesome, hold it here. And release, sweep the hands up and come down into downward facing dog. Giving that right thigh a good workout. Hold it here. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So we sweep the left leg up, it then sweeps through the hands into a high crescent lunge, nice and strong, up on the ball of the foot, hold. Good. Take a deep breath in through the nose. On your exhale, left arm drops back, right arm drops forward. Breathe into the wobbles, finding the balance. Awesome. Drop that left hand down to the right leg. Sweep the left one, left one up and over if you would like to take a variation. Awesome. And when you're ready, release down. And let's come into a wide leg child's pose. Just to take a little bit of a break, come back into the practice, find the breath again. Now you can bring your forearms all the way down or feel free to come all the way down, forehead to the mat. Then hold it here. Keep holding a child's position. Good. Awesome. Everyone's there. Beautiful. When you're ready, come back up into your four point kneeling position. We're going to tuck the toes, send the hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog again. Nice. Hold it here. All right. This time, we're going to take the right leg into a three legged dog. The left supporting foot is flat on the mat. And hold. Good. We're going to bend the knee. Make sure the foot is flexed and we're going to stack the hips on top of each other. So we just open up the hip. So think about stacking that right hip on top of the left. Good. Quite challenging, starting to feel it in the shoulders. And release, downward facing dog. Good. We're going to do the same on the left side. So when you're ready, left foot comes up, three-legged dog, bend the knee, foot is flexed, and now we stack the hips on the other side. So really opening to the side of the room, stacking that left hip directly over the top of the right hip. And release, good work. All right, let's come down into a shavasana position. So laying on our backs, we want to think about bridging the gap between our lower back and the mat. So you just need to pop a little pelvic tilt on here to bridge that gap. We don't want to be really banana back here. Good. Hold it here. We're going to bring our hands out to the left and the right of us. Bring both feet up into a tabletop position. So really activate the core here. Good. And using the core, we're going to lower the knees to the right side of the body. And we're going to gaze over the left shoulder. So knees to the right, gazing over the left shoulder. And what we're doing here is we're releasing the lower back. Now you can either hold it here or if you'd like to go one step further, take that right foot and place it on top of the left knee. Just so you can push gently down onto that left knee, going a little bit deeper in the stretch. And release. Using the core, let's come back up into a tabletop. And we're going to keep going across to the other side. So now we drop the knees to the left. We gaze over the right shoulder, releasing the lower back here.
Good. If you'd like to go a little further, place the left foot on top of the right knee and just gently pull down with that left foot, getting a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good. And release. Awesome work. Let's drop the left foot down. We're going to bring the right foot on top of the left knee. We're going to reach through that left leg and just gently pull back. So you'll be able to tell how far you can go here. Really feeling this in that right glute. Now you can keep that left knee bent or if you prefer, you can straighten that left leg. Now what I like to do here is I like to use my right foot, put pressure onto my left knee, and then I'm gently pulling back onto my left knee with my hands to create some resistance. Okay, so resistance stretching is really good because it lengthens and strengthens at the same time. Hold it here. Good. All right, when you're ready, we're going to release. We're going to take our left foot, pop it on top of our right knee. Go ahead, reach through to the back of the right thigh and just gently pull back. Good. Awesome work. And go ahead, extend that right leg if that feels good for you. Beautiful. And release. All right, we're going to go into one more lower back stretch. This one is awesome. Bring your feet to the sides of the mat. Okay, so nice and wide. Have the hands resting wherever feels comfortable. And we're going to go into our windgreen wipers. So we drop the left knee in and then we lift it up and drop the right. And we literally just keep going like this. You'll feel such a good release in the lower back. You let gravity kind of do its thing here. Good, so just going either side. Left to right. Let's do a couple more each side. Good. And awesome. Bring your knees nice and close to the chest. Hug the chest nice and tight. And then we're going to roll up and meet back at a downward facing dog. So we're almost done. We're going to run through one last vinyasa to finish off our sequence. So when you're ready, let's bend the knees, look towards the top of the mat, jump step, sweep the hands up on an inhale, and on your exhale, bring hands to heart as you float down into a full fold. Feeling into the full fold now, hopefully feeling a little bit more lengthened. Inhale, come halfway up, long spine, and release, exhale. Jump or step into a plank position. Nice and strong core activated. Sweep through Chaturanga. Straight into upward facing dog. Thighs off the mat. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, transition into downward facing dog. Beautiful. And let's just go into four spinal rolls to finish. So this one can be a little bit challenging. So what we want to do is we want to bring the body weight forward into a plank as we curve the spine. And then we want to kind of pop the butt out as we push back into down dog. So keep going. Inhale. And release. Amazing for the spine. Inhale. And release. So coming over the hands. Working the shoulders here too. Inhale. And release. Awesome work. Hold it here. And let's come down into a seated position. So you can have your legs crossed or have them out in front. Good. Awesome. All right, we're going to go into one more rhythmic breathing technique. We'll run through uh, three rounds of it. And this one is we're going to inhale to the count of four. We're going to hold our breath to the count of four, and then we're going to release our breath to the count of six. So four, four, and six. All right? So when you're ready, let's inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, 
four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can return your breath to a normal pace. We're going to take a gentle twist to the left. And a gentle twist to the right. And back to center. Sweep the hands up on an inhale and bring hands to heart on an exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if anybody has any questions about anything at all, please send them through um, and I will be happy to answer them for you. Um, if not, I have a, you can find me on my website, which is bendbycourtney.com. I currently have an online membership, so you'll have access to all of my um, yoga classes, I've got um, vinyasa, yin, restorative, detox, a whole bunch of other things. Uh, and I also have some guided meditations up there. So every time I do a yoga sequence, I advise people to then just scroll down and do a 10-minute meditation, 20-minute, whatever you feel you need, uh, especially during lockdown at the moment when we're kind of all in that rabbit hole of rumination and you know, the negative thinking, we're constantly consuming negative news. Um, yeah, it's everywhere. So I, I do really hope you enjoyed uh, this short vinyasa. And if you would like to know any more, please get in contact with me. Um, and I also sell these cork yoga mats. You're welcome. No worries. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I also sell these eco cork yoga mats uh, and blocks. So you're more than welcome to check them out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And Hopefully I will see you again soon.